If you're into precision rifles, trust me, you are gonna wanna see what's in this box. Gavin Gee here from UltimateReloader.com. I'm here with Bruce Tom from Bat Machine. Bruce, thank you for joining me here at Ultimate Reloader. Always a pleasure. Yeah, we just did that factory tour, how a custom action yep. is made. Ton of fun. We've gotten a lot of great feedback on this video. What I wanted to do with Bruce today is to walk through all of the different product families for rifle actions right. that Bat Machine makes. And why don't we do this reveal? This this is insanity. Why don't you open this case and show them what we're gonna what we're gonna talk about here? Oh yeah, <laughs> lots of different products. Yep, lots of different features. Yep, lots of different options. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna walk through these families of rifle actions, product category by product category. Why don't we start with Benchrest? So Benchrest is kind of really what Bat Machine is known for. That's correct. Yep. Yeah, we started making Benchrest actions uh, around 1993 in my mm -hmm. garage. The thousand yard guys were actually some of the very first ones to uh, push me into making pretty large actions for mm -hmm. unlimited class thousand yard Benchrest. By 96, when we started making actions full time, still all on manual equipment, uh, we were, had introduced the Model B, which we still make, mm -hmm. and uh, that's all for the short range crowd and some people use it for F class, but uh, always strive for as precision as we can make them. Mm -hmm. and I can... learned that during the factory tour, you know, behind the scenes we were talking quite a bit around some of the interesting factors that you'll run into, you know, when you're doing the machining process, relieving stresses in the steel and making sure that yeah. you have all these bore alignment issues yep. and the, the order of ops being really important and basically yep. cutting no corners. Yep, that's right. Um, we continue to, Every year we come up with better ideas or, I don't know what I say, better manufacturing practices. Mm -hmm. We're always re-examining how we do things. And mm -hmm. this year we've made several different changes that uh, it, actions are even better this year than they were last yeah. year. <laughs> That's something that I've learned is is consistent amongst this bench rest crowd, you know, like Gordy Gritters, yeah. is constantly massaging yep. his yep. process and is relentless yep. in terms of leaving no stone unturned. So anyways, yeah. let's walk through this family of bench rest rifle actions that yep. that makes. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the Model B. It's a seven and a half inch long action and it's offered in shapes from round to what you see here would be I guess the most optioned out version. <laughs> Integral pick rail, uh, drop port, left load, uh, let's see this one probably that, that has our new one piece handle bolt, uh, not modular, but one one solid piece. Mm -hmm. So on the Model B, I'll yep. note that I actually have an upcoming bench rest build on a Model B. Yep. Looks a little bit different than this, but I'm excited about it because it's gonna really enable me to push my testing and evaluation yeah. of yeah. rifle cartridges and other things kind of mm -hmm. to the limit. So look for that in the upcoming months on the channel. Yeah. Um, and so this is available as far as options go, it's available dual ported, right or left ports, and it's available nitrided, which this one is. It's available in a stainless finish as shown here. It's available in chromoly, um, blued or chromoly nitrided. Uh, lots of options. I, I know it gets confusing for <laughs> the end user, but um, that's bench rest shooters have lots of ideas yep. of what makes a superior action and we try to accommodate all those things. And we're not gonna try and cover every detail and every option for every action in this video. If you click on that first link in the video description, we're gonna have kind of some tables, some spreadsheet type yeah. stuff that'll help lay out what the different models and options are because there right. is a lot here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So the Model B, what do we have? Uh, Next is the DS. This action is basically a tricked out Model B with uh, but it's only available in inch 350 round. It was uh, originally, DS stands for Dwight Scott. He had some specific things he wanted us to do to that Model B action, and uh, one of them was lighter weight, so it's inch 350 round, lighter shroud, uh, multiple trigger hangers for adjusting trigger position, uh, 
originally it had a different firing pin guiding system, but we've adopted that guiding system across our whole line now. Um, but very popular actually in the Venturist crowd. Mm -hmm. And then we move to the three lug and it's a three locking lug bolt, 60 degree bolt lift. Um, again, available in option wise, all the same options that I mentioned mm -hmm. for the B. Here's another version of it in a multi-flat, we call it, hmm. it's multiple flats, 45 degree on the bottom for gotcha. superior bedding. I, I really like this for bedding. It kind of forms a wedge action. Locks very, it in. Very positive. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. And then we move to the uh, M. This action was originally developed for 17 pound class, thousand yard bench rest, but it's used quite a bit in F class. It's also available with all the integral rail and all this, but we actually probably sell the most of them as this inch 550 round, available in bolt faces up to 338 uh, Lapua. Then we move to these Nuvo models. These are a bench rest central exclusive that uh, Chris Harris, the principal of Venturous Central and Dwight Scott approached me about making oh, around five years ago now. And they were trying to uh, get some things that they'd always believed were, would make a superior Venturist action. And the, one of the big parts of that is a horizontal lockup bolt. Mm -hmm. So when this is turned 90 degrees, it's horizontally locked up. So trigger, pressure on the bottom of the sear lifts the bolt in most actions and this way you still have both lugs in contact. Mm -hmm. Very interesting so, concept. So there's two versions of it. This would be a thousand yard version, uh, F class version, and then a, a lightweight shorter version uh, for short range bench rest or lighter weight extreme accuracy rig. That's the short and dirty overview. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On to the bigger actions next. Yeah. Huh? Yep. Let's do it. So as an extension of the bench rest discussion, now we've got the big boys. Tell yeah. us what we've got here. The big boys. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a model L, a model EXS, and a model EX. And I'm partial to this one. Yeah. I bet you are. You know why? Because this is going to be the core of a very special rifle build that's going to be coming up this coming year. And, uh, it's going to be unlike anything that you've seen before. Anyways, back to our scheduled programming. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our Model L. And this was one of the original actions for the 1,000-yard Venturess shooters uh, back in the early 90s. Still make it. Um, it comes in round, octagon, and bolt faces up to 408 Shytac. Mm -hmm. The next one is the EXS. This was an offshoot of the EX. It's uh, 50 BMG capable, uh, mostly used for like 48 Barrett and uh, the Shytac cases. Mm -hmm. I should say it wrong, 416 Barrett, excuse mm -hmm. me. It comes just as a round action, comes with the 40 MOA rail standard. And then we move to the EX. This action was originally developed for a thousand yard uh, 50 BMG bench rest, mm -hmm. and also now used for the extreme long range game. Mm -hmm. And the reigning kings, or king, has been using this. Of two mile? Of two mile, mm -hmm. has been using this action. So, yeah. It's just big and just bad big, and bold. big, <laughs> massive, <laughs> one inch <laughs> diameter bolt, huge locking lugs. But it gets her done. Nice. And of course, all these are available nitrided as well. Uh huh. So this version, this also comes as a two and a half inch version if two inches in diameter is <laughs> not big enough for you. I think it weighs like 12 pounds. <laughs> well, I'm an extremist, so I'm naturally drawn to this particular product family. And again, I'm going to have more information because I'm going to have a build on this exact action right here. So let's move on to, say, varmint repeaters potentially. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll talk about that next. So here we have our varmint repeater and 
VR. VR. Mm -hmm. And the HR. These were our original hunting actions that we came out with, our original repeaters. And they have also a lot of options. They can be had as a single shot if you're looking for an action that will drop into a Remington Inlet but want a solid bottom action. Mm -hmm. um, and they're also available with or without the integral rail. And they're uh, available with multiple bolt handle options. Mm -hmm. Um, that looks like the knobs. TR bolt handle yeah. that I'm familiar yeah. with. And then yep. we have one that's a little smaller, kind of that same design, and then of course the smaller pear shape. Mm -hmm. Now these all come with modular bolts that, that you have on the TR, so mm -hmm. you can do uh, bolt faces from 223 to 338 Lapua on the HR and to standard Magnum bolt face mm -hmm. on six five PRC three hundred wind mag three hundred exactly. PRC those yep. sorts of yep. bolt faces on yeah. the VR. Yep. 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 Very nice. So, so a little lower price point I imagine because of uh, some of the options. Well There's actually these can be just as expensive mm -hmm. as a TR depending on okay. your options. Gotcha. So or they can be yeah at a lower price. You point. up options here and you lower yeah. options there yeah. it washes out. Well, like yeah. you know like most all of our products um, except for some of the new stuff we've come out with there's a lot of options, so that changes the price point. Mm -hmm. So this is a good segue. Next, we're gonna talk about TR and Igniter. Yeah. So the TR is familiar to any of you that watch the channel because I did my sort of dream PRS rifle build, the Six Dasher. This is the most accurate shooting rifle that I own, period. Shoots, in the, shoots in the zeros. It's a bat, what do you expect? <laughs> of course, you're gonna say that. <laughs> And it's built on the TR, which is essentially a tricked out, fully featured, and standardized VR. Yeah, yep. Yep, removable trigger bracket. Uh, port changed a little bit for uh, better ejection uh, of cases at high speed when you're running it. Um, Comes standard nitrided, standard 20 MOA rail. Uh, I think I already mentioned the trigger bracket. Mm -hmm. um, which is adjustable. It, yeah, depending on how you put it in, you can change your, your firing pin travel and mm -hmm. uh, also emergency, change it out in the field kind of deal makes it quicker than driving out pins. Mm -hmm. um, I found the yeah. nitriding is really nice. Uh, and then the way that the bolt and the body, the way that the clearances work out, because in the PRS match that I shot with this rifle, yeah. I at the end I hadn't cleaned the bolt, the bolt days and mm -hmm. it was still cycling really smooth. Whereas some of the real tight tolerance, less, uh, yeah, less areas for you know accumulation of moon dust, as it's called. You know, <laughs> things were a little bit stickier. I noticed on some of those other rifles. So I was I was yeah really happy with that. And then we've also got the uh, the modular bolt, which is available on multiple models. But I thought yeah. we'd talk about that. Yeah, here. it's it's standard on VRs and HRs and TRs. So you can go from two two three to uh, the short magnums on the on the TR and the VR. Mm -hmm. So here we've got a 223 yep. modular bolt, and then we've got my 308 bolt face from, from Six Dasher. So in a matter of a couple of minutes, we can swap that over, swap your barrel out, and you can yeah. go from one mm -hmm. cartridge to another. Yep. One thing you're mentioning about or precision or tolerances between this action, there is no difference in clearance between this and the VR. The clearance are the same. The, the, what really makes the difference on that uh, shoot them in the dust is, is the nitriding mm -hmm. because it, the grit just doesn't embed in the metal. It's hmm. too hard. The nitride surface is mm -hmm. too hard. So it just, it just wipes off, wipes into the flutings as you're operating it. Um, I used to think that the fluting was just for looks, but yeah, it, it does give it the accumulation. It gives a place for the dirt to go. And it kind of self-cleans a little yeah. bit. It can wipe mm -hmm. it into those, those yep. grooves. Yeah. Kind of looks cool. Well, yeah, so now I'm sold. <laughs> so that's the TR, and then we've also got the igniter. Let's talk about the differences yeah. here. So the igniter was an effort to not have an action, all of our product be extremely expensive. So this action without rail is 995. And it has all the features of all the rest of our actions, cut to the same tolerances, has the same modular bolt design, the bolt comes nitrided as with, as with the TR, but the action, it, the receiver body is chromoly and it's blued, and that's the only way it's hmm. available. The rail is, 
if you order the rail, it's, uh, I think it makes the action, if you order with the action, I don't remember exactly the price, so a little over a thousand. And it's double pinned, 840 screws, and uh, no options. That's just the way it comes. It's the only way we can get the price point down is by doing a large run with no options. So standard, like the TR, if you're building a PRS rifle and you want kind of top shelf features and precision, the TR is a great way to go. Yeah. And then on a on a budget, you're still going to get all the same real precision. Exactly. Right? Without some yep. of the nice to haves like the trigger bracket. Yep. Yep. You just give it, you're giving up trigger bracket, you're giving up Integra rail, and you're giving mm -hmm. up a stainless steel receiver mm -hmm. um, and nitride on the receiver body. Great option. All right, and we got some new stuff to talk about as well. Yeah, this is new as well. These are okay. just now available. So Igniter is new, but what you're going to see next is pretty special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so new for 2020, we've got Bumblebee and Vampire. Let's walk through what these new products are. So they're an aluminum bodied action, steel insert up front for the locking lugs and the barrel threads, mm -hmm. hard anodized uh, type three with an addition of Teflon in them. So they're very slick, nitrided bolt. And that's a modular bolt as well? Modular bolt as in the VR and HR mm -hmm. and TR. This allows us to make an action that's extremely stiff rigid wise for uh, accuracy. Everything we do is about accuracy. Mm -hmm. And uh, that action is only 24 ounces. Okay, so now let's talk about titanium real quick. A titanium short action. Yeah. In terms of properties and weight and comparing right. the two. So a titanium action, you couldn't get the action to be 24 ounces with that much material. Because mm -hmm. titanium is a little heavier than aluminum, lighter than steel. Uh, the other issue I don't like about titanium is uh, it is has a higher modulus of elasticity, mm -hmm. which isn't the greatest when you're wanting to crank up your loads. I've tested this action to 117,000 psi, and I was still <laughs> well, able to open the bolt. And that's and, uh, for perspective. That's about double what yeah. a 308 ish class cartridge would yeah. would top out at. Yep. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't did not. Ex Damage the extraction cam. The extraction cam, we actually extended the length of it so mm -hmm. it has more bearing area. So it's very, very, uh, works very well. I was very happy with these. This is the long action version of the same thing. Um, vampire? Vampire, yep. It's drawn a lot of blood this hunting season in Idaho already. <laughs> That's Se awesome. Several customers using them. So, yeah, it uh, allows you to build a a really long range capable rifle in a much lighter package. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm pretty interested in these. I can see a uh, a build in my future at some point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that pretty much rounds out the Bat Machine product portfolio discussion. Again, if you want to yeah. know more about these individual products, that first link in the video description will link to the article mm -hmm. where we'll have more of that information break, broken down visually. And then also, of course, links to the product pages. Uh, Bruce, thank you for coming. You're welcome. I thank really you. appreciate this. Again, I got a lot more related action. You saw the EX, that build is coming. You saw my Model B, that build is coming too. Those are going to be really awesome. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And here's a question for you all. Do you have a bat action? Do you want to build a rifle on a bat action? Please drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Links in that video description. We've got a link to the full article. I've got Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store, and I'm on Patreon. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading. Yeah.